Welcome everybody to another episode of an odyssey through art history. Today we're going to be focusing on the Baroque period. This is one of the most fascinating times in the history of the arts. It's a time of great developments, scientific and geographic. New maritime routes opened towards new continents and so the welfare went up. And unfortunately, a universal truth is that when welfare goes up, also arts flourish. And um, a lot of interesting things happened that I really encourage you to read about the Reformation, the Counter-Reformation. And so the mentality was also reflected in the arts. And the artistic style of the Baroque period is very hard to define. It's, it's lush, it's very dynamic, it appeals to the senses. And interestingly, if you look at the sculpture specifically, which is the focus of today's episode, it will very much remind you of the Hellenistic period that I talked about in the previous episodes. And today I will not be sharing with you the full process of the drawing that you see behind me on the drawing board because it would have been too long and the purpose of the video is merely to encourage you to do something that scares you, to push your limits. And one of the scariest things for me was to try or at least to attempt to copy one of Gian Lorenzo Bernini's sculptures. Gian Lorenzo Bernini for me is one of the most amazing sculptures in the history of mankind. His work is so breathtaking, especially when you look at the details. The marble is, is beyond inanimate matter that resembles reality. It's almost like it's flesh, it's real, it's real people. It has dynamic, it has movement. It's, it's absolutely magnificent. And so for today's episode, I chose to do a copy of Aeneas carrying his father outside of Troy uh, after it's being destroyed. And the technique I'm using, I shared already in the previous episode about Roman realism. And it's ink wash combined with hatching. Now, what I want to encourage you to do, which is uh, very important, is how to start the drawing, because that's the basic, that's the foundation. You will see in the first part of the, um, of the video that I did not cut anything, I didn't put any time lapse. You're gonna see me doing the underdrawing in pencil. So what I do is go full in without any fear, identify the general shapes and just not think about it too much. And overthinking is sometimes very detrimental when it comes to doing complex things. Um, I do not mean that in absolute terms, but it definitely works. So I hope today's episode is gonna encourage you to do the same, to push your limits and try to do something that you, you feel that you're incapable of doing. So let me know what you think in the comment section below and see you soon. Bye. 